Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today for the 29th annual State of Downtown Boise. My name is Dean Bennett. I'm a partner with a law firm, Holland and & Hart, and I'm also the president-elect of the Downtown Boise Association Board of Directors. The board's current president, Kelly Sharples, could not be with us today, so she asked me to stand in for her, and I was happy to do that. On behalf of the Downtown Boise, Boise Association and the DBA staff, we're honored to have you with us today. As you can see from looking around downtown and looking around this room, which is full, we have a lot going on in downtown Boise. The growth and change is obvious and it's very exciting. Today we're taking a moment to pause. We're taking a moment to reflect on what we have as a downtown, to recognize all the people who took their time and effort to get us where we are, and to challenge ourselves to make sure we continue to grow and thrive in a healthy and sustainable way. I would like to thank Mayor Beter for joining us this afternoon as our keynote speaker. He's not in the room, but I understand he'll be making a grand entrance. So we'll be hearing from him shortly. I would also like to thank and recognize City Council members Marianne Jordan and Ben Quintana, who are here with us today. Welcome. Next, a big thank you for this year's six meeting sponsors. The City of Boise Mayor's Office, Capital City Development Corporation, BizPrint, Boise Center, Intracon, and the Idaho Business Review. Let's give them a round of applause. And speaking of the Idaho Business Review, on your tables today is the State of Downtown magazine produced by the Idaho Business Review. The DBA has included some stories and information that we think make this an interesting and useful publication to you. Please join me in thanking the great folks at the Idaho Business Review for understanding the importance of our downtown and for helping us put these materials together. I would also like to extend the DBA's appreciation for those that sponsored tables. There's a lot of you here. Thank you for sharing this occasion with us, for inviting your guests and your staff, and for sharing this with your colleagues. And again, I understand we're at capacity today, 350 people, so that's great. As, the downtown Boise as this is the Downtown Boise Association's annual meeting, the first order of business is to announce the slate of incoming directors to our board. Just elected and join us, joining us for their first full terms are Ryan Cleverly with the Gardner Company, Brittany Fister of Clearwater Analytics, Wes Yost of Zion's Bank, Shannon Stoger with Idaho Independent Bank. I would also like to recognize those just elected to their second three-year term on our board, Dan Balaf of, of City Peanut Shop, Mitty Gronbeck of Hawkins Companies, Alan Ireland with Neuralex and Pengillies, and Jeff Wolf from the Car Park. Next, would Joey Perry please join me on the stage. As many of you know, Joey works downtown for Washington Trust Bank and has been a tremendous supporter for downtown Boise. She has recently completed two full terms. That means she sat on our board for six years, and including last year serving as our downtown Boise Association board president. Joey, here's a little something from the DBA to you to hang on your office wall. A sincere thank you to, to Joey. I would also like to thank our current board members for their service. If you could please stand and be recognized quickly. Don't be shy. Finally, the last award. Uh, we have a special presentation this afternoon. Would Mike Cooley of Georgia's Cycles please come up on the stage? Mike is and has been the race director for the Twilight Criterium since it began in 1987. That's a long time. For context, I think I was in third grade at that time. <laughs> this July 16th, we hope to see all of you at Capitol Park in front of the Capitol Building for the 30th annual Twilight Criterium presented again this year by the Anderson Banducci Law Firm. 
The bike race is a tier one event for U.S. cycling. It's brought world-class athletes and Olympic champions to Boise. And every race day, some 15,000 people crowd our downtown streets to watch this great race, helping the DBA accomplish our mission, to bring people out to enjoy this wonderful downtown. Mike had the dream and the vision for this great event. He's given countless hours and truly put his heart into making the Twilight Criterium a great success and something we all love. Mike, from all of us, the Downtown Boise Association, here's just a small token of our gratitude for all of your efforts. Thank you. Like Downtown Boise, the Downtown Boise, Boise Association has seen some recent change. Karen Sanders had served as executive director for 11 years, which is remarkable for someone in this position. She recently decided to pursue a new career at Cushman Wakefield, and uh, we wish her the best. She's not gone far because she's working in downtown. I'm sure many of you still see her walking on the streets on a daily basis. Karen was not uh, able to join us today, but I think it's definitely worth doing that we should give Karen a big round of applause for all of her work. Now we have a new executive director. After a detailed national search, we were lucky enough to find Lynn Hightower right here in Boise to succeed Karen. Lynn has hit the ground running with lots of energy and enthusiasm. I think this event demonstrates uh, that she's definitely on the right track. We're all excited for her vision for the DBA and for her passion in leading this organization during what is arguably the most exciting time in the history of downtown Boise. Please help me welcome Lynn Hightower to the stage. Thank you, Dean. And if I may thank one more time our downtown Boise Board of Directors. They give our time, their talent, their expertise, and we are much better for it. So thank you to our board. If anybody is live tweeting today, our hashtag is Downtown Boise Rocks, because it does. That's not only our hashtag today, that's our hashtag all day, so we're just trying to get it to catch on. So yeah, if you're tweeting today, it's Downtown Boise Rocks. And thank you in advance to our speakers. Any of them could have been our keynote, and all of them deserve a much better introduction than I'm going to be able to give them today. But please take note of the distinguished speakers that we have, and take a moment when you can to thank them for coming. It is obviously the afternoon for our DBA annual meeting. We're kind of mixing up the format a little bit this year. We went with happy hour meets TED Talks. So hopefully that will work. And because it is a little bit different, I think Carly and I actually took a couple of calls, people asking, well, what is the most uh, appropriate thing to wear? What should we wear? Seriously, we almost said shorts and t-shirts because it's 80 degrees outside. I, I was about to call Judy at Boise Center and say, Judy, throw down some sand, put, a couple, put up a couple volleyball courts, we'll call it good, and that'll be our day. But thank you very much for being here and joining us on such uh, a lovely day. I am. Uh, I've been in Boise for quite some time, but I am fairly new to working downtown. I did just come on board with the DBA in December. And that means I owe many of you and those who came before me in this organization and many others for your hard work in making our downtown such an amazing and successful place. It's your work that brought me here. And we are all here today because we love downtown Boise. And there are so many awesome, great cities in our country. It's exciting to visit them. But the more I travel, the more I am appreciative and love coming home to Boise. As the executive director for the DBA, it is my role at this event to give you all a little highlight of our annual report. On your tables, there is a one sheet, kind of a fun little infographic. The entire report is on our website at downtownboise.org, and I invite you to take a look. Annual reports as they go are typically a lot of numbers, and ours is the same. But let me take just a couple of minutes to share some of those numbers with you, because I think in our case you will find them pretty impressive. Starting with this number, more than 37,000. 
That's the number of jobs here in downtown Boise. That's according to the census statistics, and that's this side of the river and this side of Broadway. That's about one in every seven jobs in the Treasure Valley is right here downtown, just a stone's throw from where you're sitting. And if you hit someone with that stone, chances are good they're among the highest paid workers in the valley. One in five of the highest paid workers in the Boise Valley is right here downtown, and they are one in three among the best educated. And what kind of jobs are those? Again, according to the census, predominantly professional, scientific, technical, healthcare, government, management, and finance. And you don't have to be an economy major, an econ uh, economist, to know that the impact of those kind of jobs goes well beyond our downtown. Well, there is a higher concentration of arts and entertainment jobs here downtown. That means people come to the downtown to enjoy arts and entertainment. That's a major function and attraction of our downtown. And other cities would absolutely envy the education options that we have downtown. Just within a few square blocks of where you are now, a family could start their child in preschool, go through grade school, graduate from Boise High, get a degree in computer science or law, and never leave downtown Boise. They may jump on their bike and ride south across the river for five minutes to Boise State, but that's all good. Education means families are here, and age diversity, and the wonderful energy that that brings. And here is one more stat. We all know that cities get into trouble when their downtown workers turn out the lights at 5 o'clock and can't wait to leave town. That doesn't happen here. Of the workers that commute into downtown Boise every morning, almost half, 47% of them, live in the city of Boise. People care about where they live, and they care about the cities where they're raising their families. Well, all that and a lot more means that our downtown deserves some extra attention, and that's where the DBA comes in. We are funded by property owners to make sure that the downtown Boise, that downtown Boise gets some of that extra attention. Our assessment income last year was $388,000. With event income alone, the DBA leveraged those dollars almost two to one to make sure that downtown Boise stays clean, safe, attractive, vibrant, exciting, fun, and competitive. In other words, the place people want to be. And it's working. Downtown Boise, top 10 in best downtowns, top cool cities for hot downtown meetings, up-and-coming cities for college grads. We're on a lot of those national lists, but that, that's actually great. We'll, we'll take the accolades. Juniper Restaurant, a great restaurant here in downtown Boise, has an awesome website. They're, they are a great restaurant, but I'm actually kind of a geek. I actually read people's websites. On their About page, it actually says they love being in downtown Boise because Boise is cool without trying too hard. I thought that was a great way to put it. In Boise, we're not worried about keeping weird. We're nice. In fact, we're Boise nice, thanks to Wear Boise. While other cities have art galleries, we have artists like Ward Hooper. You will see his work displayed throughout the, in fact, did Ward make it today? He was going to try to. When you walk into his shop on Idaho Street, you not only see Ward's work, you see Ward sitting behind the counter, likely working on his next piece. We have artists like Randy Van Dyke. You may not know Randy's name, but you've probably seen his work on the cover of a lot of Boise weeklies. And if it doesn't ring a bell to you, you have to get into his frame shop in Bodo and check it out. You're going to love it. The largest mural gallery in the entire Northwest, it's right here, and it's free, in Freak Alley. And yeah, this is Idaho, but the only firearm you're most likely to see downtown is our own panhandle firing a pine tree painted on a t-shirt at Banana Inc. And only downtown are you likely to go into a deli or a coffee shop 
and sit next to a CEO on one side, and on the other side is the band that played the Neurolux last night. And you will definitely hear a visitor or a tourist say, gosh, who knew downtown Boise was so cool? If we all could only have a buck for every time we've heard somebody say that. Well, the cool thing is downtown Boise does look good by the numbers. We look good on paper. And as one of our speakers, Michael from Livability, will say, or Matt from Livability will say, we have good data points. The numbers show that our downtown is important. But it's our people who make our downtown great. And if I may present to you the state of downtown Boise. <laughs> 